and welcome to Doom Tooth. I am back here playing Monster Loves You. I don't know why I said it like that. On the last episode, uh, we were a little baby monsterling, and now we've grown up, I think. I think. Okay. Alright. We just got past some some ghosts that, let us, that we let drink our blood also. That, that happened, too. Uh, you wake up inside a well-appointed hovel? Hovel? This is your home now. What should you be doing now? Start living as a monster, I guess. Oh, look at this guy. He got a little oven mitts. Kind, kind, bind, mind, room for entering the big bad world. Do I want to do that though? What does this mean? Top ship. Oh, the top fish with many days have left. Here's the pain. Bottom. Shows how much respect you have. Oh, I don't got any respect at all. Oh, fuck. Alright. Oh yeah, okay, all right. Adventure in town. Okay, all right. Let's do this one. Oh my god. Loud, drooly snapping sounds from come from the square where you see Proof Frock, Proof Frock? Single, clawedly taking on Oh, so single-handedly, I see. I see what you did there. Taking on a rampaging pack of wolves. He grunts for you to help. Are you both a threat? Push Proof Rock to safety and fight the wolves. Help them scare them away. Stand back. That's helping. Making your ugliest faces, Proof Rock. You and Proof Rock terrify the pack, scattering the wolves forth. Nice. All right, me and you, me and you, Proof Rock. We got this. Me and you, bro, 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 bro. Bruh. Today's a holiday. Poke the bear day. Monsters, of course, it's poke the bear day. Monsters, you have been planning pranks. Oh. Monsters have been planning pranks for days. You all head out to the bear cave. It's poke a bear day. What's that? Let's do it. Everyone else gets their butt kicked. Let's do it. I'm down. Let's do it. I'm gonna. I'm an adolescent now. I'm all about fighting and being brave and doing stupid stuff. So that's what you do when you're an adolescent. You join the crowd of monsters, shuffling, walking, skipping, and scuttling through the woods. Ah, soon you have reached the caves. The bears are already outside waiting and watching. Poke the biggest bear with your sharpest stick. Fight. Confuse a bear with the got your nose routine. Find out if bear sneeze. Chase a bear into the thorn bush. Bush, bush. I got your nose, I got your nose. The bear grabs his nose in surprise. He growls, I can still feel my snout. He then bears his claws, which are bigger and sharper than yours. So sock him in the stomach and run. I'm gonna tickle his belly. <laughs> I got three. Oh, I lost ferocity though. That's fine. I'm such a little cute guy. The bear laughs at you tickling and says, Hey, you're all right. I just made some tea and I think I have some crumpets around here. Come join me. The other monsters shake their heads at your non-violent approach. He, um, he's the little bear. He's a little bear. I'm gonna fight him. Whatever. Whatever. You guys judge me all you want. Canilo Aslet limps towards you. He points one huge eye at you and cackles. I got a shock working on a power line. It's, it's still down. Help me out? Uh, yeah, I guess. Sure. Whatever. You soon find yourself dangling from the power lines over the main street of Omen. The break is ahead and now it can get dangerous. Get out there and fix that line fast. Better play it safe if you can take it slow. The car is driving by. Uh, you're going to rush. You help patch the power line before much more electrical fluids lead out, leak out. It's not easy, but you manage to avoid getting any of the fluid on yourself. Sweet. Ooh, this guy, he got little lobster legs. I need to get my fucking respect up. Um, this looks nice. Elder Jaggery grabs your claw and drags you out of town. I need you to scare up pigs for me, he says. Here we go again, why we gotta scare pigs? What did the pigs ever do to us? Jaggery sniffs the air and says, never mind, there it goes. He gallops away, leaving you alone in a grassy meadow. I'm gonna explore a bit. Ooh. 
Very brave, Rickard. As you poke around in the bushes, a ball rolls through them and comes to rest at your feet. That's a human thing! Better run away. Walk through the bushes. Well, I lost cleverness. But I have, I have a lot of cleverness, so it's fine. You see a human sitting in the middle of the meadow. It hasn't spotted you yet, but it looks like looks up at the sound of your movement. Wait and see what the human does. The human looks at you, waves its arms, burps and laughs. The sound sends shivers down your spine. Watch the human, but be ready to run. The human, still sitting, points at the bushes behind you. It makes a sound. It seems to be very young. No more than a monsterling or even a morsel. Mess with the human. Man. Fuck you. The humanling is bigger than you, but you're faster. You run around and around. It tries to follow you, but it grows dizzy and falls down. Mm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, I got everything on that one. Nice. New strength surges through your small body as you take your first bite of the helpless human. Never been so satisfied with the meal. Fuck the humans. Fuck them. Fuck the humans. I'll die, especially the little ones. Fuck kids. Don't, don't, don't literally fuck kids, but I hate. I don't like children. You and Globclaws are playing toss the kitten. <laughs> what? You're winning two to two to one when crash. You miss. Whoops. And the kitten shatters Hamrag's window. Uh. Stick around. Hamrag comes through, crashing out of his of his hovel. Still half asleep, but all the all the way angry. Who did this? I'll drown you in the spawning vat. I cannot tell a lie. Oh man! Hamrag whirs and glares at you so hard that you feel heavy and hot. His eyes begin to shine with a weird red light. Oh really? Gobblaws through the kitten. Hamrag <laughs> grumbles and gives Gobclaws the kitten. He slaps her so hard she can't walk straight. Yikes. <laughs> Gobclaws stays mad at you all afternoon. A long time for her. Alright. Well. Whatever. Uh, did I do this one? Oh, no, I guess not. You see Jaggery in a haze of buzzy, angry yellow bees. It looks like he stole, the, stole a beehive off of the tree and took it home. You can see uh, you can see why Jesus Christ my throat hurts so bad. Honey is irresistible. Jaggery motions for you to help him. Uh, uh, help him out. Just standing there thinking about it you get stung twice. The bees are getting angry and angry. Jaggery frowns and asks what do we do? Put the hive near the smokehouse. Yeah. Obviously, it's the best idea. It worked. The bees fall asleep, and you get a double cloth full of stinger-free honey. Nice. All about that honey, bro. Honey, honey, honey about that honey. Oh, my God. oh great. It's the ghosts again. I think. You hear screams, shrieks, and cheers, and you come running. The oldest monster is fighting a challenger. Even the elder monsters flee to safe distance. They know they could turn out badly. This could turn out badly. Who's fighting? Watch closely and learn. Meh. It's pain done. Who's fighting? Everyone knows and fears the power of the oldest monster, except apparently this big purple guy you've never seen before. Oh. Hear screams, shrieks, and cheers, and you come running those monsters. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's watch. You're the closest monster to the fight. The purple monster has 16 thick, ropey tentacles, and he's trying to strangle the oldest monster. The ghost monster ignores a grip that could and does shatter a hovel. Uh, yeah. The challenger bobs and weaves until he gets eaten. You wipe the purple blood off your face and take a few mental notes. Don't challenge the oldest monster ever. Seems sensible. Alright, yeah, that seems pretty sensible to me. One day left. Uh, I can't even tell which one I haven't done. The rocks and... Greed Blitz walks past your stoop. He stops, coughs, and tilts his head proudly, showing off. The air conditioner just turned on. Oh, that's gonna be loud. Oh, one sec, I'm just gonna <laughs> turn that off real quick.
Okay. Probably showing off his baseball hat. It makes him look ridiculous. <laughs> it doesn't look spectacular. It doesn't. Green blitz knots. Tips the hat to you and moves on. Fair enough. Alright. Adolescence is fleeting. You have grown beyond youth and become an adult. Yes. You've been dragged from your bed by your friends and neighbors. Who, what, who, the where and why now? They tell you it's time to grow up. You're taken into the woods. Alright. Neighbors throw you into the center of a great circle of monsters, all older than you. They whisper to each other, then look at you, then whisper some more. Get on getting on. <laughs> the monsters murmur and mutter, spit and snarl. They're deciding what best defines you as a monster. Take a nap. After a while, the muttering stops, though the murmuring goes on for some time longer. Finally, the assembled monsters come to a decision. Well, what is it? The ring of monsters shuffle closer to you, forming a tighter circle. Elders loom over you while the smaller adults crouch low. Your surroundings grow shadowy and dark. Do your part in the same ceremony of adultation, I guess. The other monsters hold you in some respect. Five out of a five out of a possible hundred is not good. Everyone grows goes silent as you bravely meet every monster's eye without flinching. Why should you be afraid? All the monsters in the circle start throwing rocks at you. Stand there and take it. Success! You stand perfectly still, showing no fear. A few rocks bounce off your hide, but most of them only hit the ground. Everyone cheers at your courage. Uh, I don't know how much bravery I have. I was gonna do that. Ooh, a lot of bravery. Yup. You're an adult now! Yes! You grow even stronger over time, but your personality is no longer as mutable as it was when you were young. Onwards to adulthood. Ooh, we got two different things. All right, we're adult. We're an adult now. We got 14 days. Uh, so I'm gonna end the episode here. We're gonna be an adult in the next episode. So uh, come back to see how the adult life of a monster goes about. Probably not. Oh, my my uh, bravery or my, my bravery. My respect went up by five. Ten percent. Ten percent. Uh, respect. <coughs> oh, God. I'm sick. So, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Like for me being sick and still putting out videos because my throat is fucking like a falling glass. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.